Hi, I'm Laura Staples here for virtualsheetmusic.com. A reader requested that I review a few of the shoulder rest models and the pros and cons of each. And of course I wanted to do this video because it's a specialty of mine because I struggled for years to find the right setup for my build. You can see I have narrow shoulders and they slope quite a bit and I'm short. And back in the day, it was hard to find the right equipment to fit anyone who didn't fit in a certain body type. Nowadays, the variety and the options you have are amazing. And it's important for our health that you find the right combination of shoulder rest and chin rest to alleviate pressure and work from your shoulders and from your neck. So I'm going to review four of my favorite shoulder rests. It doesn't cover all of them, but I'll address the pros and cons and the two issues that you're trying to solve by using a shoulder rest. So let me start with the two issues that you want to eliminate by using a shoulder rest. The first one is friction or slippage. Our clothing and wood does not make for a very good friction point. There's just that tendency for the violin to slip out front or to slip down onto our chest. The other issue that a shoulder rest is trying to solve is the issue of height. Uh, we don't want to have to raise our shoulder to hold the violin up and we also don't want the violin to be on a super slant like that. Some people might, but in general we don't. And so we need a taller end out here on this side of the shoulder rest and a shorter end up here. And then we can adjust the tilt to fit our individual anatomy and our ability to rotate our arm and just our unique needs. So when I get a new student that doesn't already know what shoulder rest they want, I have them start with a sponge because that gets them thinking, it helps them to explore what their needs are, and sometimes, rarely, a sponge is all they need, and they go on their merry little way with just a sponge. And often, those sponge users um, can eliminate the sponge, and they just go shoulder restless, and it's just perfectly natural for them. It's rare, but I like to keep that option open, just in case. Um, they, they, don't, they might not need a shoulder rest at all. Next, I'd like to examine the shoulder rest, the coon. This is a very popular shoulder rest and it's pretty versatile. It fits a lot of different body types. It's got this nice curve for your shoulder to sit in and then it's got this raised portion here that sits on your chest and holds things up a little bit. It sort of provides a hook, a little bit. It'll sit on your shoulder and barely grab. And then of course you can adjust it further over so that it's more behind your shoulder or you can adjust it more to the front so that it's more loaded towards your chest area. And then you adjust the screws to help get the tilt where you need it and you're good to go. If this doesn't provide enough height down here, you can build it up with scrunchy hair ties. Or if it doesn't have enough friction, I've put hair scrunchies here or scrunchies down here, depending on where I feel the slippage is occurring. If I feel like it's falling off my shoulder, I'll put scrunchies here or rubber bands. If I feel like it's sliding down my chest, I'll put something here. The Kuhn has several models. This is the Kuhn original and you can see it, you can adjust it based on pre-drilled holes. And it's, all the Kuhns have a nice little swivel feature. There. Can you see how it swivels? Which helps it to seat properly on your chest. The Kuhn Super 
operates not on pre-drilled holes, but rather on a slide mechanism. And that's really nice for older violins or violins that are odd sized or petite because this constantly falls off my old violin. I need a Kuhn Super because it can go in micro adjustments. Then there's the Kuhn Collapsible, and that's just like the original, but it's got feet that collapse in, so it fits in those smaller thermoplastic cases more easily. And then you've got the Kuhn Bravo, and that's made of hardwood with a cushion on it, of course. And it's just fancier materials, it's more expensive, and the, the belief is that the wood helps to boost the sound of your violin, or at least it, it absorbs less of the sound from your violin. So it puts less of a dampening effect on your violin. The next family of shoulder rests I wanna discuss is not the most common, but it's my favorite, so I'm going to talk about it. It's the Mach 1. If you like the Kuhn and it works for your body type, then chances are good that the Mach 1 will work for you. If the Kuhn didn't work for you, the Mach 1 most likely will not work for you because they're very similar in the way that they feel on your body. The, the Mach 1 has, in addition to, sorry, to the shoulder dip, like the Kuhn, it's also got an S curve from this angle. You can see the gentle S curve. And the Kuhn does not have that. The best thing about the Mach 1, though, is that it's very thin, it's made of hard maple, and it's got patented feet on it that barely grab the edges of your violin. There's very little rubber touching your violin, so you notice a definite difference that your violin seems louder and more resonant when using this as opposed to other shoulder rests because it's not dampening your violin. It came with leather on it, but I've since worn it off, so this wood was slippery. And so what I did is I put rubber bands and a piece of cork, just put anything, on the spot where the slippage occurs. And for me, it's on my shoulder. This is adjusted for my larger violin, so I'll show you on it. And so it sits like that. And it just locks into place. It's very versatile. And for me, it doesn't lock it in place so firmly that I, I, I still have the option to move my violin when I need to. Okay, and then I want to talk briefly about this other Mach 1 model. This is called the Mach 1 hook, and you can see why. It's got this big hook back here, and that just helps to grab around your shoulder. I don't need rubber bands on this one because it holds on for me. Manufacturers are catching on, and there's more and more of these hooks appearing in our shoulder rests because of the problem of the violin slipping that way. Also, nowadays there are a lot of talented, talented people who understand the dynamics of violin and viola playing, and they're making customized chin rests and shoulder rests. And it's worth every penny you spend if you find someone who can listen to your needs and listen to your feedback and make something for you. The next shoulder rest I want to discuss is probably hands down the most versatile, the most adaptable shoulder rest that's being manufactured, and that is the Wolf Secundo. It can be bent into pretty much any shape you need, so you can make your own shoulder curve. You can make it in, like in the middle of the, the sh shoulder rest if you need, or you can put it right on the end if you need it just to barely grab your shoulder. And what that does is it allows you to determine how far back your shoulder rest is going to help you hold your violin. Not only that, but the Wolf Secundo seems friendly to people with broad shoulders, people with long necks, 
tall people and short people because it can go very, very high or it can go very, very low. And because of the fact that you get to choose how much hook you want and where to put it. It's just made to be bent and, and mangled, basically. Um, if you're wanting the curve right at the end, like if you're a short person like me, I'd recommend you put it at the end. Bend it with pliers because if you try to do it by hand, it's gonna bend at the weakest spot, which is in the middle. Just food for thought. And the final model I want to discuss is the Bon Musica. And that also has a great hook on it. And it's really bendable. It's more easily bent than the Wolf Secundo. And it has a longer piece. So, I mean, you can bend that thing and run around the block with your violin on your shoulder and your violin won't go anywhere. You can bend it a lot or you can keep it more flat so that, so that you can move it around if you're short like me. The Bon Musica is very friendly for people with long necks, a big space here, and people who are not shrimps like me. People with normal shoulders to broader shoulders tend to like the Bon Musica. All right, so I've just reviewed four different families of shoulder rests, plus the custom option, plus the sponge option. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of different types of shoulder rests out there available to you. Go to a music shop and try out as many different types of, as you can. By doing that, you'll start learning what your body needs, and then if they don't have the exact model you need, you'll probably recognize what you need by looking at a picture. It can be a long process to search for the right shoulder rest and chin rest, but it is worth it. So keep experimenting and you can post your questions here. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Laura Staples with virtualsheetmusic.com and I'll see you next time.